What is up guys, my name is T Dark from the T Clan and this will be our first video today which will show how to gain admin access on the school DET laptops. Um, this works for all models that are running Windows 7 which should be all models so that's the 2010, 11, 12, 13 and the reverse like the ones in the past, the 2009 etc as well as the desktops, but the desktops have an unpeculiar way of doing it and it's just too complicated for now but we're going to go ahead and get this done here so what you're going to need is obviously your DT laptop and the file in the description, I've gone ahead and put it on a USB here and once we've got that all ready to go, we're going to go ahead and turn on our PC now this is proof that it is Windows 7, obviously we've got the New South Wales Department of Education training uh, starting windows you want to kill or power to it at the starting windows um, logo or oh, yeah now this doesn't matter what operating system bit version you're running uh, anyways so launch start a prepare which is recommended and we'll go and do that but as I was saying it doesn't matter what version you're running 64 bit 32 bit this is compatible with both um, and this will allow for future like videos such as enabling the ability to browse any website through your own personal network instead of having to use say Ultrasurf as well as the ability to install and use EXEs without the ability of the um, Explorer slash Launcher program so now we're going to come to this sorry that was my phone uh, we're going to come to this and it's going to be searching for an apparent problem for the start of repair this can take anywhere between five, I think, five or so minutes. I think it takes roughly. It can take um, a lot longer and a lot, lot less, I suppose. But I'll come back when this is all done. You will come to this screen um, after a certain amount of time. Um, when this screen does appear you're going to go ahead and click view problem details down here just go ahead and display problem details then you want to go ahead scroll down to the bottom uh, oopsies scroll down to the bottom and there'll be a text document link um, x drive windows system 32 and ERS or some crap click it and it'll come up now at this time you're going to want to know where you've installed your um, exploit to that's what we're going to go ahead and do. That's why I put it on the USB for easy find. In. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go up to file. Open. This will pop up. We're going to change the type of the file to all files. So we're going to go ahead and click all files here. And go down to it. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and navigate to where we put our exploit. So me at C drive admin access and there it is there. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Oopsies. My mistake. Make sure you don't do that. Right click on it and hit open. Right click open. Okay so here's our nice user interface we've created. So we're gonna go ahead and press one and enter to run the exploit. Obviously if we follow the video correctly we should be in the right recovery menu. I'm going to go ahead and type yes. So it's going to rename the file. There we go. Everything's in done. Okay. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and reboot our computer. So we can go ahead and shut. Hit finish. Computer will shut down. You will have to manually power it back on. You can take the USB out. Okay. So start Windows normally. <sighs> okay. Now please keep in mind we upon future updates with the exploit we will have an uninstall feature. However, that's not a wise idea. Um what you're about to see is a fresh image restore for my PC due to the fact I did uninstall uninstall this exploit and put my account back to standard and had an inability to log in so just remember just don't revert back to original state unless absolutely necessary that's just a disclaimer so waiting 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and log in. Uh, before we do anything, if we hit shift five times, we'll notice we'll get CMD. Um, what we're gonna want to go ahead and do is log into our account. So if I go ahead and Okay, kick with the D T New South Wales. And then once it's logged in, we're gonna go right back ahead and log straight off. Welcome. Um just try and blur it out here so you can't see the actual name. I just okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna go now ahead and log straight off. Log off. Okay, so it's gonna log us off. There we are. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and shift, 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 and type in here control, oopsies, control user passwords two. I'm going to type that in there, control user passwords 2. Go ahead and hit um, enter, and this should pop up here. Now here's the name that we want to um, make give admin rights to. It will be the name, obviously I'm not going to show you the name, but the domain will be DT New South Wales, and the group should be interactive login. We're going to go ahead and right click, oh sorry, click properties, which is located there. And we're going to go ahead and hit administrator, because that's what we are, want to be. Hit apply, hit OK, hit OK again, just exit that. I'm going to go ahead and geez, log in again. Tab. Alright, and now I'm just trying to think of something. I'll run an EXE because we can't run EXEs, which some people should know that we can't run EXEs. Again, sorry for the blinding light there. Um, I go ahead now. Actually, I don't care if the name's shown, honestly. Um, go ahead and just try to do something. So, view files. I'm um, we'll going to admin access. We'll run the exploit. Oopsies. And it pops up. Now, to prove that we actually are administrator, we're going to go ahead and right click. You can see, just right click run as administrator and it works so that's the tclean tutorial on how to get administrative rights on your um, DET notebook this can be you know, used for any other purpose that you have installing games, steam, etc etc thanks for watching, remember to subscribe if we helped you and hope to see you in the next videos, goodbye